The people in this community wanted more sweets. This gentleman comes and wants to put waterfall and trees and things to climb around. This is a whole year wasted again. This is ridiculous. But again, it's and I'm totally, sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. No, you're right. But why do we sit here and continuously take the BS from these people? I'm sorry. I'm tired of it. This is why I haven't been coming to meetings. And Danny, well, you're on a carpet as well. I don't like Gerritsen Beach news going outside of Gerritsen Beach. It's no one's business. Got seventeen hundred dollars. I understand. That's a nice thing you did. Yeah, right. I'm not, too, and that's a wonderful thing you right. did. But I don't like this news. The same thing with Gerritsen <coughs> Beach paper. Our news, other people finding out what's going on in this community. And this is one of the reasons why we're starting to lose this community because the old timers said. Keep your mouth shut, don't tell anybody anything. We put right. stickers on our cars, uh, Gerritsen Beach. Everybody said, where's Gerritsen Beach? They found it. It's not the community that you wanted to buy and build a home and a family in. Not anymore. And this, this Gerritsen Beach property owners has to do something about it, George. These politicians have to be accountable. The park is a wonderful thing. But if they don't close this park at 6 o'clock at night, I wouldn't want to live in those houses on Gerritsen Avenue. You ever sit out there at nighttime and hear the noise just from those skateboards? There are our neighbors, too. There are our neighbors, too. Bob, they're not going to have a fence there. I know they can't close the park if you don't have a fence. I'm sorry? If they're not going to have a fence there, they can't close the park. It's open all the time. Take the 63rd precinct and put someone there and chase the kids out like they do elsewhere. Give them tickets. Have the parents here, as well as myself, control the kids. Like he said, it's not kids from other neighborhoods wrecking our bus stops and putting things all over the uh, benches. It's our own kids. When are people going to start being accountable? My father, God bless him, said to me, son, if a cop takes you home, don't worry about a police officer bringing you home. Worry when he leaves. <laughs> you got and that, it's right? not done anymore. And I agree with the Hayes family. We shouldn't put their name in there. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry know what's going on here. I'm sorry. I'm perturbed. That's why I haven't been coming to the meetings. It's the same stories over and over and over. We well, have to do something, George. You're absolutely right. And this is what we are trying to do. Uh, the the women want toddlers to play up on that, and they're going to give them things to climb around and watch a water sprinkler go? The water sprinkler believes belongs at Kitty Beach. That's where it belongs. So when we have the rain and the kids can't go in the water, they can go in the sprinkler. But no, the last president a few years ago didn't want nothing to do with that. I'm well, sorry, we, I spoke my piece. No, that's quite a row. That's you know, I'm sorry. I really am. We try to we want to be what we are as a community. Well, George, this is Gerritsen Beach property owners. Not Marine Park, not Flatbush, not Sheepshead Bay. I don't want that. And what I say here tonight, I don't want going all over on a computer. I don't want it. It's wrong. Bob, and the way you do it is to change the bylaw. Bob, unfortunately, the weeds, which were always our weeds, are not our weeds. We had the people here, put it up for a vote, and have them vote on it. The weeds? This is a private the meeting. Park? It's a private meeting. It is not for everybody outside of Gerritsen Beach to know what's going on here. Well, let me tell you, I was not the first one to start bringing politicians in. I didn't I say keep, you were. I, I did not say you were. I keep them out pretty much. I didn't say Except you were the first one. for those people who do listen and try to make a contribution. There, there is another issue with the Seba Avenue Park. It didn't come up tonight. You can't even cross. You've got DOT. The problem we have today is the bureaucracy. You you vote. There are people have been voting for these different representatives. Uh, if anybody read it, I it said lump of coal for DOT for this, a lump of coal for that, a lump of coal for this. Well, I've also thought about how about the juggling award for the juggling act. They'll come here and they say, this week or this month we're talking about the crosswalks and DOT. We're going to bring some people in from DOT. Next month we're going to talk about the park. We'll bring people in from the park. Next month we're going to talk about the water, the environment. 
It's a juggling act. All they do is smooth you. They tell you what you want is you have to threaten them with their job. You're still waiting for Frank Court to be straightened out. Yeah, You're that's still right. waiting for the streets down the old section to get straightened out. John's still Three years out now on, yeah. on Hyman Court, Gaines Court, you can't even cross the sidewalk. Eaton Court, let me all tell you. Why didn't you use the money on that instead of the park? <laughs> well, you had two your choice. Two different, you had your choice, you had your chance, that's you could have voted the park down, it was a mistake from day one, that's and right. the money could have went to the streets. Well, you wanted a minute, the parks department money doesn't go for the no, streets. No, no, no. Those are allocated for Listen, two different things. You could have got the councilman to allocate the money. For I that. spoke to the councilman a few times on the park. I also spoke to, spoke to Marty Golden and told him Garrison Avenue wouldn't work. Don't worry, we'll tweak it. If it doesn't work, we'll bring it back to the original way. What they do? They messed up the environment for everybody here. Everybody. You can't get out of Florence Avenue. Can't, uh, every, you can't get out of any one of these areas when people are coming home at night time or going to work in the morning. And you're still having accidents. This was supposed to prevent accidents. Don't tell me about these politicians. I'll throw every one of them out. They're useless. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, go right ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. I am fed up with this. Four or five years I'm hearing the same stories. But you still have the courage. I'm, I'm stepping up to the. To the plate. Step um, up to the plate. My name is Eileen O'Brien. I'll take all the hits. I'm, I'm here representing Assemblyman Maisel. Um, I'm sorry for your, for your frustration, but I will say this, and, and I know George can back us up on this, that there has never been a time that he has not supported the community. And I, I hear your frustration. I don't live here, but the reality of it is these are things that happen in a lot of places, and the fact of the matter is there's a lot of stuff that wouldn't happen otherwise. So in terms of the street and in terms of what happened and you know you say about Marty Golden, the reality I'm I'm not a, a particular supporter of, of Mr. Golden. Doreen is here there reps, you know, but the fact is this is a mayoral issue. So the important part is to know where you can go and how you can kind of Things then around. don't come down here and tell me you're going to tweak it, or tell me if it don't work, we'll go well, back to the way it was. That. I'm not telling you that. What I'm telling you money. is that what you're doing. Spend all that money. They, the they painted the avenue. I'm not arguing with them. What I'm saying is they don't understand that that is a Mayor Bloomberg initiative. Right now, the whole thing of Garrison Avenue and the, the traffic calming, I mean, Terry Scavo is here from our planning board. This is not something that was supported by the local elected officials at all, at all. People from DOT, the mayor's behest came, they listened, they listened, and they said, okay, we heard you. And then they went and made a one-lane thing. That their, their concession was to remove the bike lane. But ultimately, yeah. there are things that a state legislature can do. There are things a city council person can do. And I, I'm just here to say that whatever it is that's within the purview of the New York State Assembly, the assemblyman will be supportive of. But some of the stuff that you you know you want to have happen, it's not within their their jurisdiction. I was and told the reason that Garrison Area was changed now again was because it was approved ten years ago. That was, that's what's on the website. That's ten that years was, ago. Yeah, up at at Avenue. At Avenue U. Absolutely. Yes. We at Avenue U. We're running for ten years. Ten years ago. What someone says, ten years. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, could, could you right, imagine? Could you imagine if the fire the on on Bevy Court for that family happened at six o'clock in the evening? That fire company would never have got out of the place. <laughs> With the well, traffic. Yeah. I know there, there are a few issues in terms of the, the fire and, and think and, about and it. And Dory knows as well. The trucks have to be water. The the fact of the hydrants, they have to be serviced, but it's beyond the servicing. The reality of those hydrants, probably many of them, and at least some strategic ones, need to be replaced because if they leak, it doesn't matter if they come every third day and go to every hydrant every third day. When we have a weather situation such as we have now, there is nothing you can do to stop the north wind. And if the temperature dips below 32 degrees, which is the freezing point, they're going to freeze. Only if the valve is leaking. Yes. If water is in it. The valve is leaking. That's, that's why it's water. But if they inspect it, they inspect it before they'll find out how many have, have leaks on the And it wasn't done. 
need to it be. It wasn't done. I, I don't know that. Old. It wasn't well, done. Well, listen, Ms. O'Brien. This system is how old now? 50? I, I, oh. 50 years old? 40 years the old? The hydrants were changed when the water mains were changed, what, 25, 30 years ago? Not even that. Not even that? No. no. And I remember as a kid recently. drinking water from 